So you want to learn the most powerful techniques in affiliate marketing? In this video, I am going to give you seven of them. I'm going to dive into them and talk about them and how you can actually utilize it in whatever it is that you're trying to promote so that you can start making money through these seven most powerful techniques in affiliate marketing. Let's get into it. So before I get into the actual video itself, I just wanted to share with you something really, really quickly. My mentor and I have put together a four-part video course series that teaches you exactly how to make 10K per month as soon as you possibly can whilst we do all of the heavy work for you. While that might seem a little bit confusing, I'm going to urge you to go ahead and click on the link below and check that out because in doing so, we're going to give you the video series 100% free and it's going to walk you through exactly what I'm talking about right now, okay? So now, let's get stuck into the videos. Technique number one is to stick with products that you believe in. And this is a mistake that I see all the time. People are looking more at about how to make money. So they're trying to figure out ways to make money. And I get it. Money is important. That's how you make your business work. That's how you figure out this thing. That's the whole reason why we're doing this, right? So what I'm trying to say is that, yes, you can find ways to make money online and you can find ways to promote products that work for you, but at the same time, you can still promote products that you believe in. For example, me, I do course reviews on courses that I've studied and I give my 100% honest opinion. That gives me a stake and authority, a claim. It builds the know, like, and trustability factor that I talk about in many of my other videos where it's all about building that relationship with people, building something that people can actually believe in you and what it is that you're actually following. Because here's the thing, if you recommend something and they go and buy it and say, for example, you make $5 commission, right? Because a lot of people are doing affiliate marketing through say something like Amazon, where the uh, commissions are very, very low. You make $5 for that commission, but that, per that product turns out to be complete crap instead of what you were talking about it being good and them taking the recommendation. You have now just burned your image with that particular person and every person that they talk to and anything you say has very, very little value. If anything, if anything you say, you've now just lost that. Okay. So what I would say is, do the products that you believe in, okay? So if you, what I would say the best thing to do is, like I said, I get the courses, I study them, and then I put out the reviews. Now, I don't think it would be fair of me to put a, a review a review out there, and I've seen them online. I don't think it would be fair of me to put a review out there of a course that I've never actually studied, that I've never actually done. Okay, I think that's hypocritical. So. What you would do is, is one of two things. One, you become a product of the product. So you enjoy the product so much yourself that you, you decide that you're gonna start promoting it and that's how you're gonna make some money. Or number two, you study that and research that, that topic so much that you know so much about it that you can actually refer people to certain products that are helpful for them, okay? But I do believe that actually using the product yourself and then saying, giving your open and honest opinion is what's most important in that particular matter, okay? So step number two, or should I say technique number two, the second most powerful technique to affiliate marketing mastery is to become a student of your topic. Now, this is something that most people miss, okay? They study a little bit, they, they, they watch a couple of videos or they read a few blog posts and, and they feel like they've become experts. Now, I'm not saying you need all of the information to take action. Quite the opposite, in fact. You need a little bit of, you, all you need to do is, you know, you just need to know one thing to create a video. You need to one thing to write a blog post. You need one thing, you only need to know one product in order to create information about it and to actually put it out there into the internet world, right? To start making money. But in terms of your actual topic, become a student of that topic. Become a, a master, you want to aim for excellence and mastery in that particular field, in that subject, so that you can actually give valuable information and recommendation. Because here's the thing, in doing that, you're going to build authority in that particular niche, right? I like, for example, like a, I know a gentleman who made seven figures just doing studio quality headphones, right? You would think that's such a small niche, but that's the reason why, because he became a master, right? He became a student of that particular niche of head of headphone studios that he learned every single sound that came out of him. He knew the quality, he knew the brand, he knew the specs of everything and he basically reviewed all the different headphones that were available for people and in doing so people actually listened to what he said. So when he recommended something they were a lot more open to buying because they knew that he was an authority. They knew that this particular person knew what they were talking about. So say for example affiliate marketing. If I knew nothing about affiliate marketing and I stood up here and I was trying to give you some advice 
Would you listen to me? Or would you listen to someone who's been studying it for three or four or five years time? Okay, of course you're gonna to listen to the person who's been studying for a lot longer or you've maybe been having experience in it already, right? Because they're the ones that have got more skin in the game. And you need to do the same, the same thing. You basically need to commit yourself to a level of mastery. Like you want to get to a point of excellence that you know so much about that topic that you could probably sit down and put together like a one and a half hour webinar just like that without even trying and be able to talk about it give people so much valuable information that they would want to buy with you forever. They become part of your tribe, so to speak. So the third most powerful technique that you can use in affiliate marketing is to create authority. Now I've actually already touched upon this a little bit in point number one and point number two, but I do want to go into it a little bit deeper. You see, uh, Dan Kennedy is one of the, the best marketers you know, of, of this century. And basically what he talks about is being <clears throat> the big dog on the top. Now I don't necessarily believe that that has to be the case. You don't necessarily have to be the guy on the mountaintop that everyone's turned to for absolutely everything, but I do need, I do believe you need to create some sort of authority. You need to be able to create something where people look at you as somebody who knows what they're talking about. They know that they can trust. They know that you're not just going to throw some shit at them hoping to get a sale, but you're actually going to give them some genuine advice based upon what they're looking for and what they're asking about. So. What am I talking about here? I spoke earlier on about the gentleman who had the, the headphones business, right? So do you think after reviewing, you know, 50 different headphones, that if someone wanted to know what kind of headphones to buy, if he turned around and said, well, what are you looking for? I'm looking for some headphones, you know, to, to record my voice in a studio. Okay, what's your studio setting? What's the lighting like? You know, what sort of backing have you got? What sort of editing equipment you can? Okay, so based on those seven questions, I would recommend these headphones. You can't tell me after that kind of information that he hasn't already built an authority. So much so that you would just click on the link that he's offering immediately because you know already that that's a, a tailored, like customized answer for your question, okay? When you get to that point, you'll start creating content. You'll start put, putting out information that'll be so valuable to people that they're not even gonna question what you have to say. They're just gonna check it out, right? So for example, if you clicked on my link earlier on and you went to my landing page and you took up that four part video course series, that my mentor and I teach you how to make 10K per month, you might actually be surprised. And the reason why you actually did that is because I had already created some sort of authority in some way, shape or form in your life, whether it was through this very quick introduction of this video or other content that you've consumed on my channel and it's brought you back here, okay? So that's creating authority at its finest. And ultimately, like I've said, the best way to do that is through content, okay? Content marketing is my poison of choice. It's what I love to use because I believe in giving value to people. I don't believe in necessarily just saying, hey you, buy my shit. What I, what I really believe in is putting out valuable information that's really gonna help people with their journey, with the questions that they have. You can provide answers. All you need to know is one step in front of the person who's trying to follow you in order to really help them. Now, it might seem like a minuscule step to you because you've already advanced to the next stage of whatever topic you're involved in or whatever niche or market you're involved in. But when it comes to building an authority online, if you're one step ahead of a person, you could save them you know, four hours of research. You could save them four, four weeks of testing something out. You could save them four months of, of trialing, of, of really impl implementing a strategy or something in particular, you could save them $500 because you've stopped them from buying a shitty product that they could have and you've directed them to something else, okay? That's where you just only need to be one step ahead in order to be classed as an authority. Now I'm not saying you come down on people like a ton of bricks and tell them, you know, do this, do this, do this, do this. No, you don't necessarily have to be militaristic about it, but you do need to have an authority. You do need to have information that you can share with people that's gonna help them along with their journey. Now, you're thinking, these terms don't really make sense, like helping them, journey, blah, blah, blah. I just wanna sell some products. Yes, but understand that people go through certain phases. At one point, they're trying to figure out what they wanna buy, you know what I mean? Like for example, let's look at a phone. The next time you wanna buy a phone, you've probably read a few blog posts, you've watched a few YouTube videos before you've actually decided what phone you, you've bought. Now imagine that you're the one who wrote the blog post or created the video that was super valuable that helped them decide that they wanted to buy the latest Samsung as opposed to the latest Apple phone. You could be that person and in placing a link in the description, in building that authority, giving them so much valuable content, helping them decide what it is that they truly want to buy, you're the person who's created that authority. So when you say, go ahead and check out my link below, and they go to Amazon and they decide to buy that phone, thanks to you, you get a commission. And now more importantly, you get a loyal fan that you will follow for the next time that they wanna buy a phone. In another one or two years time, they're gonna to come to you because they're gonna remember how good that review was, they're gonna come back and start looking again, and they're gonna pick up another authority, bang, you've just made another sale, okay? So how you do that again is by putting out 
valuable information. That's how you build your authority with people. Show people what to do, how to go about doing it. Give them insightful tips that perhaps maybe will take them a while to gather all that information. Give it to them on the platform on which they enjoy it and they'll become your students or your customers. So in the fourth part of this particular technique, we are going to be talking about building your following. Now, there's something that I've really come to learn that you really need to figure out yourself. You need to ask yourself, what particular media type you prefer because your preference of media is going to determine your platform and in determining your platform you're then able to determine your optimization okay and that's the three part of this number four technique so building your following is is, is another way of like you know creating more subscribers uh, on your YouTube um, channel more subscribers on your email list it can be more followers of your blog it could be more people who like your Facebook or Instagram posts it could be the private group that you're building right it could be all the people that are following you on Pinterest or uh, connecting with you through LinkedIn there are so many different ways to build followings it really comes down to you choosing what particular media type you prefer to produce why because I do believe everybody has strengths and weaknesses and to try to push you to do video like I am isn't necessarily a smart thing. You might be, might be completely terrified of video, but you are absolutely the wordsmith, right? Which means blogging might be the better way to go for you or writing on Facebook or writing posts on Instagram or writing posts on LinkedIn. You know, you could get even premium published uh, articles done on LinkedIn. That's gonna help you rank and people will find you and want to do business with you as a result. So my point is this, I've been coached by six and seven figure mentors, right? I've had multiple of them and they all talk about doing the, lotest, the, the hottest, latest thing. And whilst I agree with that, I do also believe that there is a value in every individual platform. I've seen people become millionaires from Pinterest, from LinkedIn, from Facebook, from Instagram, from YouTube, from blogging. It's all available. Everything is available to us. It really comes down to you choosing what particular media type you like. And once you do so, then that will determine what platform you're gonna to go to. So for example, if you are terrified of video, even though I urge you to get over that fear and you know work through it because YouTube is without doubt the most powerful platform of all the ones that I've mentioned, except maybe Instagram, if, if you're willing to sit there and figure out the algorithm, but YouTube, I believe, is super, super powerful. And the reason I say that is because for years, right, or close to a decade now, I have continued to make money from the content that I produce through YouTube, okay? That's why I believe in it so much. And But I've seen people do it in Instagram. I've seen people doing it on Facebook. And that's why I'm saying figuring out what your preference of media type is and then catering to that is the best way to go about it. So once you figure out your media type, let's say, for example, you're going to do videos, okay? Then you want to decide, essentially, whether you want to focus on YouTube or Facebook Live or Instagram Live or whatever the case may be. Now, unless you're going to learn the other facets of every single platform, I highly suggest you don't you don't spread yourself thinly, okay? So you don't want to do one video on YouTube, one video, one video on Facebook, one video on, on Instagram. No. Figure out one platform because that's the third part of this of this technique, right? I mentioned optimization. We'll touch on that shortly. So what you can do instead is figure out one platform that you really want to figure out, okay? Whether it's YouTube, whether it's Instagram, whatever it's Facebook, it doesn't matter. Pick one, okay? Based on your preference of media type, now you're choosing your platform. Once you've got your media and you've got your platform, then you need to learn optimization, okay? That's step number three in this particular technique. So, optimization comes in various different forms. There are ways to optimize your posts in Facebook to ensure that the most people see it. There is a way to optimize your posts in Instagram to make sure that the most people see it. There is a way to optimize your YouTube videos so that most people see it. There is a way to optimize your blog posts so that you get more coverage or more people find you through the Google algorithm, okay? So that's the three-step part to the part four technique. The fifth most powerful technique in affiliate marketing online is to be able to build multiple streams of income. And this is what I love most about online. When I first looked at the online marketing world 10 years ago, I, I was looking at building an offline business, a mechanic business, business and I was actually, and I was looking at building a, an online website-based business. And so I was trying to decide the two, between the two which one I really wanted to do. And there were a few things, there were quite a few things actually that led me more to online than offline. You know what I mean? Like time freedom and you know, uh, geographical freedom, um, the ability to be, be able to scale beyond a ridiculous amounts. Now, there are reasons why you should be doing affiliate marketing and I'll touch upon that in another video. But here's the thing. 
When it came to online and offline, what I found was that I was able to do a hell of a lot more online as opposed to being restricted offline. One of those being multiple streams of income. Now you see this in models offline like McDonald's and KFC and Hungry Jacks and that's why they're so successful is because you know that you go there for a burger and they sell you a combo with a burger and a drink <laughs> and some chips right now it doesn't seem like much to you but here's the thing they get thousands and thousands of customers if they're just making an extra two dollars by selling you a combo versus a meal uh, sorry versus just a burger right you times that by you know 3,000 customers that they get in a day, you times that by $2, they've just generated an extra $6,000 income. Those are classified as multiple streams of income. You can do the same thing online, but it is much cooler, much more powerful, and way more scalable. We're not talking about like $2 per customer. We're talking like an extra two, three, four hundred, even thousand dollars worth per customer. That's the power that you've got depending on what kind of affiliate marketing you get into. Okay, so hybrid system is basically what I use. What we're talking about here is entry level stuff, right? Using ClickBank, using Amazon, eBay, whatever the case may be for you. Say for example, you go onto Amazon and you decide to buy a phone and they offer you a deal for a phone, a phone case and a, an, an extra battery, right? Or an extra charger, okay? Say for example, you've got three or four things. You, Amazon has just immediately given you multiple streams of income because they've just given you a number of different things. Now, the way you do that with affiliate marketing is that you continue to produce valuable content based on different products that you're choosing to review or give tutorials on or whatever the case may, may be for you, okay? So if that's the way, if that's the way you do uh, relatable products, the way you do it is through relatable products is what I was trying to say. So you find products that are useful, you find products that are valuable, and then you sell people stuff that is related to it. So I talk always about building your email list. That's probably one of the most powerful techniques in, in affiliate marketing. Uh, but I talk about that in another video, so I didn't want to touch upon that one here. But what you essentially do is before you send people to an offer is you figure out a way to give them something really cool um, to collect the email address so that you can sell to them again and again. And in doing so, say for example, they were interested, they did end up buying a course that you had recommended and they love that course because you said it was good and it actually answered the question. When they're looking for more courses to study different things, you're able to come up with a recommendation through email marketing. You're now able to get repeat customers, okay? It's not exactly passive income, but it is a way of generating money right because you're able to get more and more sales from the one single person because you're able to collect their data and in collecting their data through email lists you are able to sell them uh, multiple things which creates multiple streams of income for me personally the way I like to do it is I like to sell one product through email right and I, and I focus all of my direction in that way and when it comes to affiliate marketing and doing um, reviews and stuff like that and tutorials on YouTube is I like to create multiple streams okay so instead of having one video on one particular product that might do really really well but you really actually don't know if it's going to do really well you actually don't know how much money it's going to generate you really have no idea but what you could do is you could put out 10 videos and hopefully one or two of them actually hit and you make hundreds if not thousands of dollars in commissions, okay? But I would definitely say that the email marketing thing is way more powerful than that. The sixth most powerful technique in affiliate online marketing is to build a website. And you might be wondering, I thought, you know, one of the reasons I wanted to get into affiliate marketing is to avoid having to create a website, avoid having to build an email list. Yes, you're right. You can, you don't necessarily have to, but I'm telling you it's one of the most powerful techniques for one of two reasons. Number one is because getting into affiliate programs are going to be 10 times easier when you have a website, when you have a custom domain that is just yours, as opposed to just your YouTube channel or your Facebook. You know, when they ask you for a website link, if you just put in a Facebook or a YouTube channel, it may actually hold up your, your program, especially the higher paying affiliate programs that you want to get into, you'll want a website, okay? So that's one reason is to get in much easier to the affiliate programs that are really going to give you some cash. The second thing is that I can actually get it, get you into a website for free. I can help you build a blog 100% free at the cost of the company in which is doing your hosting. So all you need to do is go ahead and ask me a question. If you're interested, go ahead and comment below or send me a private message if that's what you would prefer, okay? And in doing so, I'll help my, I'll get my team to build your website for you 100% free. You'll have a blog and you'll be good to go. But the thing I like most about websites is it's essentially a digital resume if you look at it like that. If you're going to check out a product review, right, and somebody sends you to their website for further information, don't you think that's going to help further legitimize your case of building an authority, which is something we spoke about earlier on, 
versus somebody who just creates a YouTube video and sends you directly to Amazon, right? I hope you see the powerful in what I'm trying to share there with you and that's why I think having a website is so super powerful in affiliate marketing. So the seventh technique that I wanted to touch upon is to be patient and just keep going. Now this is a little bit more of a mindset slash motivation, but don't clock out on me here because here's the thing. Most people get into this game thinking, I'll make one video, I'll write one blog post, and I'll make hundreds of dollars, right? And if it doesn't work, then who cares? I tried and I'm out, right? It doesn't quite work that way. You see, it doesn't matter if you're building through Instagram, through Facebook, um, through LinkedIn, through YouTube, through your blog. Either way, every platform has its own form of algorithm now. And it takes time for you to build that authority. Doing one video, doing one blog post, doing one post on Facebook is not going to get you shit. I'm sorry, but it really won't. However, if you do one, one piece of content per week, one, or if you amp it up and do one piece of content per day, that really puts you in that authority position. That puts you heads and shoulders above everybody else. Eventually, everybody that's following you is going to go, you know what? This guy really knows his shit about topic X whatever whatever uh, market you're in or whatever niche you're in, okay? And in doing so over time, people will turn to you naturally. Like, um, I know that was the case for me. When I first started out, man, I, I barely even got likes on my posts, let alone comments or follows. And now I get uh, inbox messages every single day asking about this and that, about how do I do this? How do I do that? What's your thoughts on this? What's your thoughts on that? But it took me time to build that authority. It took time for people to associate me with niche marketing, with online marketing, how to make money on Facebook, how to make money on YouTube, how do I utilize Instagram to go viral so I can build a business that way. Okay, it took me time to build those platforms. And it's the exact same thing for you, no matter what you choose to get into. So what I'm trying to say, you are going to have struggles. There are going to be mindsets that are going to kick in. Things are going to tell you that you're not good enough, that you don't know enough, you don't, you're not doing this well enough, your videos aren't good enough. You need to turn all of that, you need to turn it all the fuck off, okay? And you need to really concentrate on producing the content of improving what it is that you're actually doing to a point that you're going to start seeing success that you really truly want, okay? One of the things I love about Facebook, about Instagram, about YouTube is that it has built a platform that allows for everybody to be able to make money if you show those particular platforms that you're serious about what you're doing, okay? Now, I have my preferences being YouTube, obviously. Instagram is another one, and I will dive into that towards the end of 2018, and I'll build a following there. But for now, YouTube is my 100% focus. You have my 100% focus because this is the audience that I want to build. I know I'm comfortable on video, and I know when I talk to people, it resonates with a lot of what they're going through. And if that's the case for you, then look, this is the end of the video. I have a prize pool giveaway of $1,200, and the way you participate in that is you like the video and you comment below. In doing so, you're going to get into the draw at the end of the month where I'm going to give you free coaching, uh, free courses, or free cash, okay? One of the three, two of the three, or maybe even all three of the three because I have three different prizes that are available. And if you're one of those people that want to be part of that, go ahead and comment below in this video. Video, and I'll make sure I hook you up for the end of my draw. Okay. Other than that, I would say I would highly urge you to ch to check out the the four part video series, how to earn 10k uh, per month online ASAP, while me and my mentor do the hard work for you. Okay. So take care, much love, and I'll see you in the next video.